Australians love a barbecue and a bonfire. In Cambodia, people cook with wood as well, but for them, they're cooking three times a day. Now, the problem with cooking with wood is over time, you get a buildup of smoke, much like you would from smoking cigarettes. So in Cambodia, cooking with wood actually kills more people than traffic accidents every year. Globally, cooking with wood actually kills more people than malaria. It's a worldwide health problem, particularly for developing communities. So to solve this problem around cooking with wood, uh, Engineers Without Borders and Live and Learn, two Australian NGOs, developed a new social enterprise called ATEC. Now, ATEC works on a very simple premise. It takes animal manure and green waste and kitchen waste and converts it into renewable gas for cooking uh, and organic fertiliser for farming. Using a biodigester doesn't just address health issues. It also addresses issues around cleanliness and sanitation in the household. It also uh, helps people around reducing the time that they need to spend collecting wood, particularly children and women. <laughs> In Cambodia, uh, there's some significant environmental challenges around flooding and high groundwater. ATEC is made of a highly durable plastic called linear low-density polyethylene that can withstand these challenging conditions and can be installed in a variety of locations. None of this would have been possible without Australian aid. Support through DFAT, uh, going back many years in the design and technology phase, was critical for us to be able to get to this stage. We look forward to working with the Australian Government in taking this technology to people and communities across the world into the future. ATEC is a great example of moving from Australian aid to enterprise to leverage the best from the private sector towards achieving these goals and helping communities worldwide. We're only at the start of looking at waste and how we can utilise waste, or what we term the Brown Revolution.